Hello, this is the top side beef. Very nice. You can see that in you know, how um, very good piece is that. And the very, very little uh, uh, fibrous part or fat part. So you basically what you do is, you know, you take them out so that um, then when you get it, you also remove that part from there. Then also there's a little bit of care and uh, and after that what you do is you know this i'm going to make it a very uh, thin slices To make a thin slices like that, you need a very sharp knife. Uh, when you have a you know beef uh, piece like that, uh, top side, uh, you need to have uh, cooking like that. You know, making the uh, small pieces, uh, thin pieces, and uh, uh, slicing them will be very very tasty. I personally like uh, cooking like that and not like a curry but a little bit of dry uh, beef curry and so you can see that you know how thin they are and that's the way you know you need to cook but not this type of cutting for a curry this is for a this very dry um, stir fry type curry. So we have sliced the beef and the onion and the ginger and garlic, curry leaf and uh, uh, green chili and the pandan leaf or rumba leaf. So we are ready to uh, uh, make a stir fry curry of the beef, the top side. This is the top side beef, one of the best cut um of the uh, meat we are ready to cook and we are putting the, the beef slices and uh, this is not a conventional curry we are making it a little bit uh, differently and um, so that uh, we will be adding the salt now and then we add the we turn around and mix it very well you can see that this is uh, uh, and we start the cooking now we are going to add the old uh, powder uh, spices uh, um, We are going to add the chili powder and I can still see the aroma of the chili powder coming through it and also we are going to add the uh, curry powder and the turmeric powder so in fact so, so this uh, while we cook uh, uh, the meat, uh, that meat will be marinated uh, uh, with the uh, Thai spices, uh, uh, powder spices, and uh, so that uh, we are adding the roasted curry powder or the masala powder. Now we are going to mix them. See when you mix them, you see the uh, 
Yeah, it's uh, coming coming along very well. It's, uh, uh, it will be a dry beef curry and uh, all very thinly sliced as we have seen earlier so that you know they cook uh, uh, easy and also they will be uh, uh, edible the top side uh, don't have much uh, fat in them so most of them are the protein and uh, other fiber and other things so that you know cutting them into thin pieces uh, pieces uh, will make uh, cooking process uh, very uh, easy or oh, that means the meat pieces will cook very well yeah we are going to add now the the onion chili ginger and garlic all the green spices that we are adding now and also we are going to add the chili adding the chilies now and also we are going to add the uh, ginger and garlic and the curry leaves plenty of curry leaves because we have the curry plant so we are very generous about uh, using the uh, now we will uh, mix them and turn around look for uh, couple of minutes until the onion become uh, cooked. Now we are adding the fennel seeds. So we are adding the plenty of fennel seeds in the only sweet spice. And also we are going to add the uh, mustard seeds. At this stage, what we are going to do is, you know, we are going to add the tomato use, so tomato paste, and uh, after mixing that, we will be adding the uh, tomato paste and uh, coconut milk and soy sauce. So all the liquid spices come at the end, so that the meat will absorb most of the liquid so we are going to add the tomato sauce and then we will be adding the coconut milk and um, so we are adding the coconut milk now coconut milk helps um, thicken the uh, create a thick and cream paste so that and now we are going to add some uh, uh, dark uh, soy sauce uh, to add the tangy flavor to it. And then now the the stir fry Thai curry is not stir fry, it's not a curry, it's a stir fry curry coming along uh, while you are cooking and taste it. Uh, uh, so now we are uh, garnishing with the uh, lemon juice, you can use the lime also, 
and um, so that letter uh, real tasty so with the art of cooking the dry curry is uh, see when you cook it see the nothing there's no bubbling no water and um, so all you know stick together nothing sticking on the pan so you can see that basically whatever sticking it will come out that's the way you cook the uh, uh, dry beef curry this is my one of my speciality i like it this way good for the biryani good for the steamed rice good for the string of pearls very nice and uh, that the beef curry or the dry beef curry has been completed now and you can see that in how they are sticky and the creamy and you can see the individual pieces of the beef and uh, looking very great and uh, this is one of my uh, speciality i love to cook it uh, cook the meat curry like this and uh, they taste better than the normal gravy curry and uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, fantastic uh, creation of this uh, aromatic and tasty and the mouth watering curry appreciate your vi full viewing of this video and other video of mine appreciate also your subscription to our youtube channel thank you